Hey guys, quick by Mr. Basics here. Let's talk about thin layer chromatography. Thin layer chromatography is based on adsorption chromatography. In this method, the adsorbent material is coated on glass slide, plastic surface, or an inert solid surface. This coating is done in such a way that the thickness of adsorbent material is usually between 0.1 to 0.3 millimeters. Once the adsorbent material is coated, the plates are kept in oven. This causes removal of residual moisture from the plates. Once the plate is ready, the sample is applied near the bottom of the plate. Multiple samples or standards can be applied side by sides on the same plate. After sample application, the spots are allowed to dry. The plate is then kept vertically in a developing chamber that contains mobile phase solvent. The solvent rises up the plate via capillary reaction. As the solvent rises up, the components of the sample get separated. The separation of sample molecules occurs based on the difference in interaction with the mobile phase and the stationary phase. Once the solvent reaches the top of the plate, the plate is removed from the chamber and the separated components are visualized by various methods. Colored samples can be visualized directly. However, if the sample molecules are not colored, then several other techniques are employed for their detection. One of the common methods used to detect analytes is the use of ultraviolet light. The UV light is usually used to detect analytes that give fluorescence. Besides fluorescence, there are also analytes that absorbs UV light. Such analytes appears as dark spots on the plate in presence of UV light.